I was utterly shocked. I couldn't believe it when all of a sudden I reach in and I turn the key and... This week's kind of ending as fast and furious as it started. It's kind of crazy. Over in this bay, we had 49.55 ripped apart in a million pieces. On in Monday, we didn't have any of the clutch clutches or final drive, or we didn't have any of the clutches or ring and pinion even in the rear end. And as you can see, earlier day we got that out. <laughs> And there it is, we still gotta wrap it up, but mechanically it's all there. It has been great, but it has been just an absolute butt kicker. About three o'clock, Mechanic Larry left, and I came over here and helped the other mechanic, and uh, man, uh, we just got jamming on it. So it has just been a hectic, hectic day. It has been a hectic, hectic week here, kind of like we were talking earlier, but it is really neat to see that bay empty. And then if I move over this way, it is cool to see that bay empty. It's been a long time since we've had both bays empty. And there was something else that was kind of neat. So backing up with this loader, a couple neat things happened today. We got 4955 out of the shop. We got uh, Cat 950 out of the shop. And then the other neat thing is my dad rolled in with a new corn head. Now, the funny thing is, is usually whenever we buy something new, it's like, yeah, this is really cool. But today, him rolling in with the corn head was actually overshadowed, drastically overshadowed by getting the loader fixed and out of the shop and running. Um, that's a really, really neat, neat feeling. Kind of backing up with this project. We bought this loader on an online auction, non-running, and we knew it had some engine problems. We bought it from a county out in North Dakota. When my dad called up to the uh, county office there in North Dakota, uh, the one shop guy was telling them that they actually had their cat dealer come out, kind of diagnose it. They figured it needed a cam and push rods. And then when I hear stuff like that, I'm always kind of like, eh, I don't know. Do you believe them? But when it comes to equipment, when it comes to equipment, you will be lied to a lot. I mean, just a lot. I didn't put a whole lot of stock in it just because, like I said, I've been lied to a bunch over equipment. But I also know, hey, eh, you got to stay positive in life and, and try it. Bought the loader, it showed up on the low boy. Uh, we actually had this one shipped home because um, I didn't have time to go get it. Showed up back in April. We put it in repair row alongside the shop and there it sat till uh, the uh, first couple weeks here in September. And well, as soon as we got into it, it was kind of neat. It wasn't as catastrophic as we thought, but the probably the biggest challenge was, where's this push rod? <laughs> we knew the mechanic, one of the first things the mechanic working on this uh, loader uh, told me is he's like, hey, I am one push rod short and I don't know where it went. And we knew there was a small chance it might have been in the oil pan, but yeah, we kind of thought more there's a better chance it was probably on a mechanic or a manager's desk someplace. Adam actually drained the oil in it last week, found the push rod, so it is kind of crazy. We did find that push rod in the oil pan. Um, never would have thought that. But getting back to it today, today the mechanic came back, put it all back together. I was helping him a little bit, but I mean, I was basically just tool hander guy. Um, this was more his project than mine. I won't take any credit for it. A um, lot of fun. I was watching him set the valves and set valve lash and clearance and all that. And uh, pretty cool watching a pro mechanic work. Then we got to this point where I was like, okay, it's time to fire. It. And I'm like, you know, here we go. There's a lot of money on the line. You know, that cam alone was 1900 bucks. Uh, we figured we had about three to 3,500 in parts in this thing. And not to mention the mechanics labor's time. And so the whole time you're just kind of like, okay, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Like, what's this going to do? I was utterly shocked. I couldn't believe it when all of a sudden I reach in and I turn the key. And I mean, it just, it fired up just like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
which was absolutely shocking. Uh, I mean, I just never would have thought, never would have thought it would have hit like that. Uh, you could tell after running it for like the first minute, we kind of thought maybe we had some old diesel fuel in there and maybe some things were a little gummy. It didn't want to rev up quite that well, but the more we worked with back and forth with the throttle, it was just freeing up and running better and better. And We got to a point where the can just kind of looks at me and he's like, well, I'm going to take off. You guys can drive it around. It's like, oh, all right, cool. And then backing that thing out of the shop for the first time was just, just awesome. It really was just absolutely awesome. Kind of, we got the, they had some uh, safety blocks in the uh, boom. We got those out, started going back and uh, forth with the boom and up and down with the boom. Kona's gonna bark. Yeah, they're just kind of part of the farm. But anyways, yeah, going back and forth with the boom and then pretty soon we were trying to figure out how to put the bucket on and we And then I look and Adam's down below the hill, just all of a sudden I see him headed towards the dirt pile and I'm like, yep, I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna test this thing out. It has been a butt kicker of a couple days here. Like I said, we had loader ripped apart in this bay. We had 49.55 ripped apart in that bay. But just being able to back both of these out for the first time today was absolutely awesome. Um, it sounds sad. I think loader was probably the big victory for the day just because that was such a gamble. 49.55 was the second victory for the day. And the third victory was the new corn head that we didn't even really talk about. Uh, but I hope that's awesome too. <laughs> hope everything's just getting better. <laughs> but uh, I got to get on the road, do some trucking yet tonight. And so I got to get moving here, but uh, I'm going to shut the shop up and uh, we'll just say goodnight. <laughs>